Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Aspen's Journey. As you can tell by the title or probably by the thumbnail, then you already know what this video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here is today's comment of the day. Don't forget to leave a comment, guys, to be featured in my next video. And to answer your question, you can visit aspenatm.selfi.store. In today's video, guys, we are gonna be discussing the top 10 best ATM locations. Make sure you stay tuned because I also have some tips towards the end of the video as well as bonus locations but with that being said let's get into the first location so the first one guys is going to be shopping centers so this could be like a target or a walmart or a mall of some sort either a food court like my uh, first location but shopping centers are really good because they're one of the highest high traffic locations that you can possibly get number two is going to be an outdoor mall or an outlet whatever they have available that's gonna always be a good location because it's extremely high traffic next we have a barber shop so this is a service-based business a lot of them are cash only businesses so a barber shop is another perfect ATM location number four is going to be a nail salon also if you can get a high traffic nail salon so one that's in a shopping center number five is the tattoo shop a lot of tattoo shops guys are still mom and pop or like a very small business so some of them may still be cash only they may not accept credit cards and again it's a, a, a service-based business so people like to tip their tattoo artists so a lot of people like to pull cash off to give them a tip so definitely tattoo shops are a really good location number six is gonna be bars bars are kind of like one of those things that kind of fall under all of the categories so it's not cash only but for some reason people like to have cash at the bar i'm one of those people if i'm not like i don't like i never leave an open tab sometimes i do like rarely i'm one of those people who pay and tip after every single drink so most of the time those people like to have cash on it number seven is a nightclub so i have nightclub and then i have in parentheses near the bar in a nightclub in general is um is a good location but you still want to have it for the bar because those nine times out of ten the people using the atm it's gonna be for the bar i guess also for admission a lot of clubs entrances are cash only so you could have it also at the door as well and i guess people walking in will know that it's there whether it's at the bar or not um, but definitely a nightclub is a really good ATM location. So number A is going to be a laundry mat. So I just got my laundry mat, guys. That was my second location. Super excited about that. Hit the link in the description to check that video out if you haven't already. Laundry mats are cash only. You cannot put your credit card into um, a washer machine or into the dryer. So you absolutely positively have to have cash when you enter this location. Number nine, guys, is um, an arcade. So this is another cash only business. I know it's dying, like are there even any arcades left <laughs> like here locally we have like adventure park there's so many examples i know i'll think of after so don't think of just like a typical arcade but just places that have i guess like arcade games or vending machine games or like things like that so number 10 guys is going to be mom and pop cash only businesses and i have two examples for myself like one is um is a massage place in my mall they only accept cash another one is a food spot it's a mom and pop food spot they have a lot of customers but it's cash only they don't accept cards so that atm would be amazing so examples like that like smaller mom and pop cash only businesses are also another uh, good location so next guys i'm gonna move on to bonus locations and these aren't necessarily best these these are just bonus just a couple of extra locations that are fairly easy to get because it's so many of them but gas stations guys you know there's a gas station on every single corner like if you just want an atm you've been calling you can't find find one try to hit gas stations there's so many like you're bound to find one same with convenience stores slash liquor 
liquor stores so it doesn't necessarily have to be a gas station but just a little convenient slash liquor slash corner store another bonus location um, is self-service car washes so to me the self-service car washes falls under like the laundry mat and the arcade as well it's very similar to like that whole feel um so that also is another location or car washes in general it doesn't necessarily have to be self-service my final bonus location guys are weed dispensaries like yeah that's a huge 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 one i don't know why i didn't put that on the list but hopefully you guys stay tuned to this part so that you get that but um yes like cannabis clubs weed dispensaries like literally um those are really 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 good locations next four tips guys i would say this is a very 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 important tip is quality over quantity i cannot say that enough that applies to almost everything in life but especially this guys you don't want to just have a ton of locations for the sake of having a ton of locations if they're not really producing you know i would much rather have three or four like heavy hitter locations than to have 20 just mediocre regular locations that's producing 150 or 200 dollars a month you know like it's more work and it's less money i'm always going for the heavy hitters work smarter not harder if it's not performing move it don't feel obligated to keep it there or especially if if you're about to buy another location or buy another machine excuse me but you have a machine that's doing a hundred dollars a month why on earth would you buy a whole nother machine move that machine and just place it find another location for that one so don't feel obligated to stay with the location if it is not performing move it of course give it at least six seven months because the first couple months are always going to be super slow until the word gets out and people know that it's even there but i would say after after six months after seven eight definitely a year if it's not improving find a new location last but not least i would say the ultimate perfect location would be a location that combines all three cash only high traffic and service based i don't know what leave a comment below for some examples that would include all three but that would be literally the ultimate must have location that is pretty much it guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful this was just opinions none of these are facts this is just my opinion and a list that i came up with and of course it'll keep evolving and changing i might take some out put some in over time so definitely look forward to more lists coming in the future also if you are interested in starting your own atm business please visit aspenatm.selfi.store i'll have it on the screen as well as it'll be in the description box and it will be pinned in the comments we have vendors list processing companies internet provider a 10-step guide to getting started in the atm business just so much valuable information you can also subscribe to our newsletter so that you receive an email whenever new products launch such as contracts and different things like that so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys